Hello everyone. So today's video guys is about Linux privilege escalation. So I'm going to do privi Linux privilege escalation guys on uh, DC9. So DC9 is a vulnerable Linux machine. I downloaded from, you know, a uh, vulnerable hub website. So you can go ahead and download that from uh, that website. So as you all know, guys, we're not going to go through all the basic steps of scanning, uh, enumeration. Basically, this challenge, guys, you know, you scan the target, okay? You're going to see two open ports, one for um, HTTP and the other for SSH. Now, the two protocols, okay, you can first enumerate the uh, HTTP protocol, guys. You're going to open the page. You're going to find the, uh, sorry, uh, Drupal CMS, okay? After that, we're going to um, find a way with SQL map to enumerate to see if there is a vulnerability, SQL injection vulnerability in the site. We're going to find this in the search, in the search parameter in the uh, in the page, okay? So you take the request with burp suit and you intercept that and then copy-paste to a file as I did here, so here's a sample. So here's the request I sent. You can take that and run to SQL map. We're going to end up with uh, a full dump of the tables, columns of all databases. And then you're going to play around with the usernames and passwords to get to the SSH. Now, the, the, the important part of this challenge is, guys, Linux privilege escalation, which is, I mean, what I want to focus. So here, guys, after you lo are logged in with the thread on the uh, on DC9, your next step is to elevate yourself to root. So first we do sudo. Now you see that threadf can run this tool, okay, uh, without the need for password, root password. So it can run this test in elevated mode, okay, without the need for root password. So let's see. What is that tool? What's this tool? So we go to opt dev and we can see there's a Python script. Okay. So before going to the test, or let me go to the, the tool, CD, um, and then we go to the test again. And here's the tool, nano test. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of File test. Well, the file is, let me see here. It's executable file. That's why I couldn't be able to see the contents. So it's compiled executable file. So how can we know how this program works? We go back. And we see Python script. Probably this, probably this Python script, guys, uh, is the base script that has been compiled to run the test tool. So let's um, see what how this script works. Okay, so here we go. So print usage python test.py read append. Read append. So what does it read and what does it append? So it seems that it read the first argument, the first input, and stores that in the first argument. Then it goes ahead append the value okay of the first argument to the second argument so simply it copy it copies and pastes uh, between files so it copies the first file pastes the con the second file what does that mean to you guys it means that there must be a way to use that tool to elevate ourselves to root which is self explanatory guys you know we're going to need to overwrite the password file in the system. So the password file, let's get etc. This is the password file. We need to overwrite this file or create an entry in this file, okay, or append an entry in this file down here with a user and password, you know. So let's clear. Okay, so let's go to our machine the attacking machine from here and 
let's um, create a user. So open SSL password. Let's use salt. And here we name our user. Let's say we can name it as DC9. DC99. And the password could be DC99123. Okay, now we got the hash. Now we're going to use the user and the hash in a command to append this information as a root to the password file. How can we do this, uh, guys? Let's go back to the target, echo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a line, okay, in a file. This line simply, is simply an entry in the password file, okay, for a user or, or a user with root access or root privilege. So let's create that entry and append it to a file. And then we append that file through the test, uh, through the Python script to the password file. So here our user is DC99. And the password is, no, this one. So you copy that and append the password. Next, guys, we need to specify the privilege or user ID. Normally for root, we type zero and we type zero. That's for the root, okay? Now this is root, guys. And then I need to enable shell access to that user. So we type bin sh or bin bash, doesn't matter. Now this is the entry that needs to go to the password file. I need to put that entry, guys, into a file of my choice. Let's say temp dc99. Now cat temp dc99. This is the entry that I have. Now I'm going to use the tool, guys, to append that entry to the password file. Very simple. So we list the content. We go to test. No, build. The description, sorry. CD test. Okay, now sudo, let me run the executable file test. And the first argument, or the first argument input should be my input file. So it would, would, it would be temp um, dc99. Now the destination, which is the file, which is the password file to which the entry will be appended. So etc password. Okay, let's examine the content of the password file, see if the, our entry has been appended or not. etc password. Um, okay, this is our user. Let's try to elevate now to that user and see if that user we created has been given access as root. So su dc99, the password is, as you can see, it's here. DC nine nine one two three. No, what's the case of error? So DC nine nine DC nine nine one two three. Are you kidding? What's missing here? Oh, yeah. It's the dollar sign. It's a fucking dollar sign. Okay. Let me um, the same or because I don't have I can't <laughs> write over password file. So I need to create a new user. Let's say nine eight. The same password, no problem. And then not here. And here, I'm going to need to echo the same. OK. Now, DC9 would be 8 in this case. And I'm going to grab the password without any missing character. I'm going to you know, remove that. Paste. DC9, 8. Okay, now replace that with eight. 
Okay, now su dc98, the password is dc991123. Great. Now, home line, root, challenge is done. So that's what I'm concerned about, guys, is elevating your privilege to root. So basically, guys, this is, um, you, you need to, uh, you need to pay attention to the whole picture, guys, to the big picture, not to how we get access to the, um, the test file or not how we were able to overwrite the password file, whatever. So most probably, guys, this scenario is close to reality. Close, it's not, I mean, you're not going to find 100% um, you know, copy or 100% um, template of this challenge in real uh, real life penetration testing. But basically, guys, the point is, the point is um, like this. So you see the test, this file, or this guy over here is the culprit. So in real life, guys, you need to make sure that all of the tools, all of the binaries in your Linux system, okay, um, that, you know, all of these uh, tools need to have proper permissions. And you need to specify who can access these tools, who can run these tools, and restrict the sensitive files or restrict the sensitive tools that may, may cause damage to the system to be run only by root user, you know. So the culprit in this challenge, the vulnerable point is the test tool. The test tool can be run um, by a non-privileged user. Okay, so all non-privileged users should run programs, tools, no problem, but these tools and programs should not be, should not have the potential to uh, mess up the system or, you know. So a tool, of like, a tool like this, which can append a file to another, you know, you need to make sure that this tool uh, is restricted to root, root users only. That's the thing, guys. Thank you so much, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.